Hi everyone! Welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Ann. There is no Dallas sitting in this side of the crib. He has a new place which is up there behind me on a shelf and what you see right here is a bunch of stuff that has to be organized. It's just uh, this crib a couple days ago I started using it as I was pulling out clothes looking at things uh, to to uh, move to move on um, this kind of became a, a perfect place to put everything so you know just kind of ignore that <laughs> ignore that and Dallas is okay I promise you he's not buried under there he is up there on the shelf so I have a little Lupin with me today and Lupin is Robbie the wear pup and he was reborn by Jen Atkins. You can find Jen over on Facebook. And she also has a dolly group on Facebook, which is fantastic, called Just Dolls. So you should go and check them out. She uh, lists her dolls on Facebook. So, yeah. So when I saw him... I had to have him. He was so adorable. And I think he came to me before the Halloween season. Right, buddy? He says he did. He came to me before the Halloween season. But he is in fall clothing. And so I'm going to put a little onesie on him today. Um, so he's going to get a little onesie put on. And so my little sweetheart who is on the table, which is Magdalena, she is going to be getting a clothing change. And yeah, so before I, you know, show you the baby who is down below. Okay, let me tell you all something. So yesterday on my video, I did this thing. And I said that, you know, I'm getting together some babies that I'm going to be um, selling here on the channel. And I am going to be selling some, but just not, just not right this minute. Um, I need to give it a little bit more thought about who I would like to kind of move out of the nursery to make room for, you know, somebody else that is coming in. <laughs> but uh, I also... You know, I am not showing them very much. They are adorable. But still, right here, I, I have to make sure that there's someone that I'm ready to part with, right? So hang in there. Hang in there. Uh, I promise that uh, I will have some dollies up for sale, but just not right this minute. Not this month. Uh, I did get some inquiries. Inquiries by by email so I did for those of you that sent me one I did see it um, and I will get back with you first um, when I go to list the dolls okay I will I will touch base with you first before I bring them on the channel okay they okay all right, so it's been a hot minute since I've been face to face. I just haven't felt like it um, simply because I had a tripod that that didn't have the like the little stick. Like I'm like I'm trying to show you the stick is right here, people. The stick is right here. But at least I can this one now. I can grab it and go up and down. The other ones I couldn't. I would actually have to grab the whole thing, and it was like really awkward that I just didn't want to do it. But Today is a whole different ball game, and yeah. So let us. What are we going to do, Lupin? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Papa? He says we're going down, 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 where the baby can be found. Where are we going? We're going down. Shall we? Shall we? Let me. Can I? Can I put you over there for a minute, buddy? He says, sure, Mama. We're going to go down. So come on. What are you waiting for? Come on. Let's go here to where the baby is. Oh, wait a minute. That's no good. We got to scoot the baby. We got to scoot this over. There we go. There we go. Here we are. 
Here she is, and she is a cutie. All right, so it's been a hot minute since Magdalena has been on this table. So she is ready to have a clothing change, and I'm going to put her in a sleeper that I took off my June bug um, and see how well it fits this little girl right here. So I'm going to remove some of these things, you guys, and we will take a look. Now, this, she is a cuddle baby, and I, <laughs> I love this bonnet on her. I've had this bonnet for a while. Someone sent it to me a long time ago. I mean, it's old, but, you know, it could be in better condition, but I don't care because I love it. I like the way it looks, and da -da! so here she is. Here she is looking all so sweet, and I'm going to tell you why I like to put bonnets on my cuddle babies. I like to put bonnets on the cuddle babies that are that are bald like this or just have painted hair. If it's one of my cuddle babies that is a working baby, which means that she gets held a lot and I like to cuddle them and walk around with them and uh, Magdalena is definitely one of them. So when I put the bonnet on it, you know, un unlike a just like a knitted hat, a bonnet kind of covers more here. And so when I'm holding them, if my if I have um, dark clothing on or if it's a skin to skin with her her face right here, I can just kind of move the bonnet over a little bit and it and so it protects my uh, oils from getting on to the vinyl artwork. And they also look super adorable in them. So um, I will leave all of this sweet little girl's information, what sculpt she is, who painted her, um, in the description below. It will always be listed. Um, it, it will be the very first thing in the description box. Every time I show a doll, I will tell you in the description what kind of doll it is, um, etc. All righty. Take these little pants off her. This little outfit right here was from Walmart, and it it was such a good price. Um, believe it or not, these are twelve months <laughs> twelve month pants. But when you have cuddle babies, you can get away with that sometimes um, because she's not anywhere near twelve months. But they're they're chunky and they're fat, and yeah, so twelve months. And then this little shirt right here, uh, I think I paid like, was it $3.75, $4 or something like that for this shirt uh, at Walmart a while, not too long ago, but yeah. So let me see what size this was that I threw on her. So this is, uh, they're Garanimals, and this was zero to three months. So, yeah, and that is another thing that I do love about cuddles is um, I'm not, like, really particular about dressing them to the T, like, um, you know, everything has to, you know, she's got to have on the proper dress with the proper stockings, blah, 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 blah. I don't do that for a lot of my dolls. I don't, but I, I, I do seem to do it for some of my bigger dolls. But for my cuddle babies, it's all about the cuddle factor. Um, that's all that matters. So big clothes on them, to me, makes them even more cuddly. All right, so I don't even know if this is going to fit her. That's the thing. Um, this is a newborn onesie that I had on Junebug. And I took this off her and put her spring clothes on. So I want to put this on baby girl, and I believe, I believe it's going to fit her just fine. So we'll see. I do prefer to put zero to three months on her, simply because it just makes it a lot easier. Oh, let me move her. My cat sneezing, everybody sneezing because the dang pollen outside is falling and it's so yuck. I don't know if you heard the cat sneezing. It's crazy. 
walk outside and yeah, all you see is this, um, this, it's just coated. Everything's coated in yellow. My black car is just coated in yellow. Girl, let's see if you're going to be able to fit this. I know that June bug fits it extremely well. The June sculpt, she wears clothes. So, so nice. Okay, I think that we are going to fit in here just fine. See, it's easier, though, if it's uh, zero to three because it's a little bit um, bigger. So with my cuddles, it's easier to get it on them. So I do like to go up a size, but I love this onesie in June did not have it on for very, I mean this sleeper, June didn't have it on for very long and it has strawberries on it. So it's definitely for the season and the season coming and I want to see more of it. Okay, girl, I think we did it. I think we got that in there. Let's scoot you down. Okay, her head turned so nice. She is so nicely varnished. I love that kind of a rough feel to it. Her veining in her head. She is just so beautifully done. Stick your hand in there. Oh, well, let me tell you. It's been, I think, about three and a half, almost four weeks since I stopped using Facebook and Instagram. So I, I've never had Twitter or anything like that. And uh, I have to say that I am, I don't miss it. Uh, I thought maybe I was going to have, you know, really big withdrawals from it, but I don't. You know, I had my moments in the beginning where I would go to reach for my phone to quickly go to Facebook for something. And I was like, oh, yeah. I don't have that on my phone because <laughs> I took it off. Um, but yeah, so, but for the most part, you know, it was an easy transition for me. And I can see, honestly, for myself personally, not anybody else, anything I say here, y'all, it's not for anybody but me. I got to turn her towards me so I can make sure her sleeves are okay. Okay, look at you. It is, <laughs> I could, I mean, it fits her. It fits her nice, but still, like I said, I really would prefer a zero to three on her, but she's, she's going to rock this and she looks good rocking it. Don't you, baby? Yes, you do. Yeah, so I, um, what am I trying to talk about? <laughs> You're so adorable. I do have a, a, a white little bonnet, but I don't have it in my little hands. But this one I do. <laughs> so she's going to put that one on. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. You are so cute. Yes, you are, Magdalena. Okay, so while she's sitting there, I'm going to bring a Lupin. Loopy Loopy. Loopy Lupin. Let's see if I can put her there for a minute and bring him here. Now you see the size difference? <laughs> you can definitely see the size difference between my little wear pup and Magdalena. But he definitely needs to come out of these acorns and everything else that's on this sleeper. Oh, that's a cute little onesie he has up underneath, but I want him to have some color. I want him to have some color, so we're going to put some color on him. We're going to put the blue. So there are people that I miss on Facebook. You know who you are, and um, I do miss y'all. I do miss y'all. If you ever get a, a get a chance and get a moment, drop me a drop me a line. I know I see some of y'all in my comment section, 
Um, and it's so nice to see you guys. But I have to say that I've adjusted to having one social media platform. It works really, really well for me. I, I, I don't find myself... Um, and I'm not going to say wasting time because I know a lot of you spend a lot of time on social media. And some of you uh, are at the house um, and you're, you're not able to go places. And so, you know, the social medias are a way for you to communicate with people that have, you know, your same hobbies and, 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 and all of that. Um, but for me, it was a time waster because I would find that I would go to do something and I was just going to check something really quickly and I would end up, um, you know, I would go down the rabbit hole of things. So I would get distracted easy. So for me, I'm finding that not having it has freed up quite a bit of time, time that I didn't even know I had because it's amazing how much time goes into, uh, you know, surfing social media. Look at Lupin. Lupin is so cute. Lupin said, I look good in blue, Mommy. Yes, you do, buddy. Yes, you do. <laughs> so cute. All right, buddy. I'm going to move him over for a minute. You come back over here. I'm going to move Magdalena back this way with her pretty little self. Shall we go up? Maybe we should go up. We haven't done that in a while. Let me see if I can, if I can do it. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how. It's been forever. Say, woohoo, there we are. There we are, baby girl. She's got a lot of weight in her head. I've thought about taking a little bit out of her, but I don't know. I kind of like the way that she... She really feels so good. And yes, I know. I show this all the time. Child, please. I know I show it all the time. I can't help it. Because look, look. This is what a cuddle baby does. See, this is what a cuddle baby does. Mm -hmm. I have pictures of me sitting in a chair holding my little boy just like this. And his head's like this because he's like knocked out. <laughs> but yeah. So, oh my goodness. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Many people think that they're a waste because it's just a, a little face looking at you. Just a little face. But you know what? It, they're pretty little faces. That's what they are. See, I, we got pretty little faces, Mommy. We have pretty little faces. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, wait a minute. I'm not done. I forgot I have to get Lupin over here. Lupin's like, you can't forget me, woman. Okay, don't call me woman. Call me mama. He's like, he has a bad habit. He picked it up from Dallas. Dallas will call me woman sometimes instead of mama. All right, you guys. So here are the babies for the day. I hope that you enjoyed seeing them. And... Mwah. We wish you much love and happiness from Dolls in the Cradle. Everyone, please take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Please remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. God bless you and the peace of Christ be with you all. And we will see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye, everyone.